nice because we have a sort of DIY incubator, and I thought I should have some pieces for that. Aha, yes. So we did, um, so this is a thermostat for an incubator, and I think Jan Martin might be able to help us put together this to make just a, a little box into an incubator, like a cooler. So this is sort of the part of the electronic stuff. So I'll just put it by the soldering line station. Like from China, it has a multimeter there, a multimeter and all these different nice useful things for the electronics, including solder, which is what they wanted it for. And I think I'm almost done, and then we can have a break, and then whoever wants to, we can make some plates with my media. But let me just look. So I thought there was also one more of the DIY microscope things. Yes. Logic suitcase. <laughs> so this is actually one of the bio artists of the aquarium. She has a thing called Hybridoa. Vanessa Lorenzo. She sort of left us behind in the lab when she went to Berlin. So I thought this this, this, this should go to also the electronic side. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a, isn't it maybe with a slime mold or something? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, here's some of the amadou that um, Ove brought from his machine. And like someone said, please touch, feel it, it's so soft and nice. And I think that's the end of the magic for things. Except for one more thing, black and red. What is it? Is it strong? Is it it's not that strong, no, but the hat is just beautiful and relatively strong. I don't think you could pull it like you could pull your black hat. Oh, yeah. What would you like to share here, sir? Uh, Anglica. Anglica. English. My name, my name is George Spring. I'm a biochemist by training. Mm -hmm. I have taught I have taught that in a in university in the States, and now I'm in Greece basically visiting. I have a common friend with Christiana, uh, a German fellow by the name of Marcus. He, he couldn't come so far, you know. He's interested in reshaping the world like I am and getting away from, you know, all the, the standard stuff. Uh, my specialty is uh, bioenergy. Uh, I, I worked at the Department of Energy in Washington, D.C., not as an employee, as a consultant, when the Office of Alcohol Fuels was formed by Jimmy Carter, the president there. So I have, I have that experience. It was a question of food versus fuel in those days because the, the technology was um, the technology was converting alcohol in a, in a traditional way to alcohol in a traditional way which is the fermentation that makes uh, alcohol for drinking okay and the people you know that some people said okay well now anyway that's another that's another argument that's so, oh, so we did that successfully the congress allowed a, 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 a small stipend for the production because you know it was not economical at that time and big companies got into the act and that was the, the birth of a thing called gasohol if you add alcohol to 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 the fuel to about 10 percent it, it increases the octane rating of the alcohol and the, and the car runs cooler and smoother. I have done it, I have used it in my car and I can say that it really is true. Now the objective was that now that we have done this, let's find a cheaper source, <laughs> a cheaper source for making the alcohol. Now that's another trick altogether because the starter the standard fermentation from, from grains uh, of any kind, starches converting to, uh, to alcohol is, is age old, right? So 
Now we have to take, you know, things like that, uh, wood chips, whatever, and convert them. So we don't compete, so to speak, with the food. we don't compete with the food, the food uh, argument. And it, it, of course, it broadens the market greatly because you know uh, the, the, the supply of this is much greater than even the grain. So the trick here, in which I made a contribution then as a consultant to the. Uh, uh, to the TVA Tennessee Valley Authority, who was a consultant, who was a, under contract from the Department of Energy, and I became consultant to TVA for several years. And the trick was to convert cellulose, not grain, starchy grain. Now, what is in that word? Um, there is cellulose there, and what is cellulose? Cellulose is a polymer of glucose, nothing else but good old glucose. Process. Okay. Because of okay. its simplicity. So, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, you. Thank, you so thank you very much, uh, Dr. George. Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm.